Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here with another tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at a quick little tip on hiding your desktop icons on Mac OS X. Now the reason we may want to do this, uh, especially when it pertains to creating screencasts, is we don't want to have this clutter in our desktop that may be distracting to a user. So we sometimes want to get rid of those and there's a couple different ways we can do this. One, we can actually use, um, if you're using ScreenFlow to create your presentation, there's a real easy way to hide your desktop icons. So if you just go up to ScreenFlow, there's actually an option to hide desktop icons. So that's really easy if we just want to hide them for this particular screencast. Maybe we like to have them there uh, for everyday use. Uh, so we'll go back and show them. Now there's actually another way that we can do this. If we don't want to have our desktop icons on there at all, at all, uh, maybe we want this just completely gone all the time, there's actually a more permanent way of doing this. So if we open up a terminal, we can create a command here, and I'm actually just going to paste it in, but you'll see their defaults, right? com.apple.finder, create desktop is false. So you're basically just saying, I don't want to set, I don't want to show icons on the desktop. So if we go ahead and run that command, and let's go ahead and kill all finder, and that'll basically kind of refresh and, and, and take that command into action, and there we go. Uh, if you want to like revert that, we can just come back in. We can say true. Again, we gotta make sure we refresh that. And there they are. So that's just a quick little tip on hiding your desktop icons. Maybe you just want to hide them temporarily for your screencast, or maybe you want to hide them more permanently just because you don't like having that clutter on your desktop. So I hope that was useful. If you like it, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.